Hey dancers, welcome back to our channel. I'm Julie and I'm the owner and one of the instructors here at Broche Ballet, a ballet school just for adults, both online and in Denver, Colorado. Today we're talking about dancing at home. We're gonna cover questions such as, how is it different from dancing in class? What about bad habits? Uh, is there anything good about dancing at home? What should I be working on? And most importantly, how do I stay motivated? So if you are having fun with us dancers, please do like, subscribe, share our videos with others. It really does help us out. And if you want to dance with us, now you can do so online. So let's get started. So dancing at home is different than dancing in class. Something that I often say to my students is that technique is learned in the shower. Now I don't mean do releves in your shower. Please don't do releves in your shower. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the need to take what your teacher tells you in class and apply it to your body. Your subconscious, your mind needs to process the information that you learn in class and really learn how to apply it to your body, your physique, your range of motion, um, everything that's going on in your body and really being able to let that sink in. So when we're dancing at home, we really have the opportunity to do just that. We have the opportunity to apply what the teachers tell us to our own bodies. We can practice, we can just do lots of repetitions on things that are particularly confusing for us. We can experiment. We can really just try things that are really tailored to us and the things that we need to learn about and what we really wanna work on and strengthen. So some of our teachers also chimed in on what they have to say about how they practice at home and how they dance at home. So let's hear what they have to say. Hey guys, my name is Julie and I am one of the instructors at Broach Ballet and I wanted to talk really quickly about the difference between taking class at home versus um, the studio. So for me, um, obviously I don't have my teacher at home um, giving me the corrections and motivating me to push. So um, I kind of just have had to take that on my own and just think what would my teacher be telling me. Hey everybody, I'm Casey and I'm one of the instructors here at Broach Ballet. I wanted to take a minute to talk to you guys about what my experience has been practicing at home. Um, practicing at home you can imagine is very different than when you're practicing physically in the studio. Um, one of the things that's been a little different and challenging for me practicing at home has been not having any mirrors to be able to physically look at my body and to be able to use the mirror as a way to self-correct. As a result, um, it's made me more aware of my body practicing at home because I have to really think about what my body is doing, really feeling my turnout, really making sure that I'm engaging my core and my butt as I'm trying to balance. Um, so that has been a fun but also challenging aspect of practicing at home. Hi dancers, my name is Jessica Larson. I'm one of the instructors at Broche Ballet. So one of the things that um, I think for me is a big difference in being training at home is um, just the amount of strength and concentration and focus that you have to have uh, in certain parts of your body to make sure that you're doing the right thing and you're not developing bad habits and whatnot. So for me, um, a lot of that has to do with uh, maintaining my turnout. Yeah, we have slipperier floors here. I've got my wood floors. Um, it's, it's definitely given me a little perspective on how strong my turnout muscles are. And they're maybe not so strong as <laughs> I once thought. Um, but I'm trying to uh, work smarter and not necessarily harder and going slower in certain things, working uh, on some of the more basic ballet movements to maintain that strength that I do want when I do come back into the studio. So, you know, that's really one of the biggest things that I wanna uh, give to you is, is my piece of advice, just work smarter. Brianna here. I love giving myself class at home because it really gives me the opportunity to go at my own pace and personalize the, the practice by making revisions in real time. So for example, if I find that I'm struggling with balance on a particular day, I can just add lots of extra balances to that day's practice. Then, and honestly, in a 
In a class where the objective would be to give the full sweeping, you know, big picture of a ballet class and, and practice all of our terminology and learn, learn new steps, it wouldn't be reasonable to zero in on one thing like that, like pelvic stability or stability of the right leg and stance. So when I practice alone, I'm able to do that really effectively. So when it comes to dancing at home, I know a lot of dancers are often worried about developing bad habits, but the thing about ballet is that our whole goal with ballet training is learning how to change habits. So we change the habit of being in parallel, right? We're human beings, we stand in parallel naturally, and we're trying to change that habit to be turned out. We have droopy elbows naturally, we're trying to change that to lift them. So our whole goal and what makes a really awesome dancer is being able to adapt to different environments. So it's not like we just set it and forget it. We are always morphing and changing our technique. So if we develop a few bad habits, that's okay. Our job is to learn how to correct course and really be able to change what we've learned and what we've been studying. So you'll see oftentimes dancers will, will in professional settings, will need to learn many different styles of dance, many different techniques of ballet even, not even just different styles of dance, to really train and hone their skill set to be able to adapt their body to different circumstances and different techniques. So even if you learn a couple of bad habits on your own, that practice is still super, super critical because you're learning and understanding how to apply that uh, technique to yourself and to your body. So that is invaluable practice and really helps you learn in the shower the technical application of ballet to your own body. Um, one of the things that I found out was um, that I can actually still, you know, use my back muscles, pull up without my teacher being here. So that's something that I'm, you know, proud of and I'm happy that I can still do uh, without my teacher um, actually telling me. And something that's been able to help me find new successes um, being able to practice at home has been setting up my phone or my camera and then hitting the record button and then working on a move or a step that I maybe typically have difficulty with. For example, pirouettes are not my personal specialty, so I've been wanting to work on my pirouettes. So I put my phone on record the other day and worked on a couple and then re-watched myself and was able to see that I was falling into an old habit where I tilt back just a little bit when I need to be more up and forward. So it was helpful for me to actually be able to see that and record myself doing that um, at home, which is typically something I wouldn't do in the studio. I would rely on an instructor to tell me what to do. So that was been a neat thing for me to actually visually record myself and see myself moving as a way to help self-correct while I'm home. So what should you be working on when you're at home? There's many different options. You can do, if you're advanced enough and kind of know what you're doing, you can give yourself your own class. You can work on exercises that you know you really need to work on and understand more deeply. You can really then tailor it to your own needs and what you want in your body that day. If that's maybe not a possibility for you or you want the motivation and excitement of a live class, you can join a live class or you can see if you can find some on-demand videos such as a pre-recorded YouTube Live or other kinds of resources to help you watch something that's already taken place. You might also choose a small snippet. Maybe you say you wanna choose a YouTube video on a specific topic and really watch it and dig in and just do research on your own. So research all goes back to learning technique in the shower, right? It's all about your mind, not always about the body. So you can be working on ballet even if you're not doing it specifically. So again, some of our teachers chimed in on what they like to work on on their own and why they like uh, dancing at home in their own environment. So let's hear what they have to say. Hey guys, it's Josie here. I'm nice and sweaty, just took a virtual class and you know, there's actually benefit to being um, alone in your kitchen or your living room doing this and not having mirrors, you know, there's no judgment. And I just really remind myself of that and then I feel so great after taking class and having a little solo dance party. So I hope you guys are doing the same and staying strong. Giving myself class or just practicing at home saves time because I don't have to learn any combinations or teach any combinations. I can just go.
Hi, this is Christina. Um, this is a little bit about um, ways to stay um, on your game as a dancer when you're not dancing at the studio. Um, so my biggest thing was planks. Um, I always do tons of planks. So, welcome to my plank routine. I tend to do about 10 counts. Um, I'll to count backwards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Usually I play a lot of music when I'm doing this. Then I do it to the side. And hold it here. One, two. And I'll do this for about 10. And then I'll do 10 here. And then I'll slide to the other side. Sometimes I'll put my arm up, straight up, and I'll look up there, sort of like a yoga position. But, and then 10 here. And then back to center. So, that's my plank routine. Um, I do this pretty well, three to four days a week. Strengthens my back, um, prepares for whenever I'm gonna be in class. Doesn't get me ready for class, but it does prepare me for class. You can also do a little leg kick up. I'll like make sure the leg is really long and pointed like in an arabesque, but I tend to make sure they stay turned in during this. Um, anywho, hope that helps. And um, this is Christina signing out. And Last up, I want to talk about motivation. So how do you motivate yourself to get up, get off the couch, get off of work and get to practicing, right? We're not in a class necessarily. We're not going to a studio. We're just at home on our own and we need to find the motivation to get started with something. We have uh, uh, some advice from our teachers as well, but my personal advice is that you should really just get started. Sometimes if you just promise yourself it'll only be three minutes of work, sometimes that's enough to just build momentum to get started. And hey, if it only turns out to be three minutes of work, that's still three minutes more than you would have done if you had not done anything at all. Every little bit counts, so just start. Even if it's that that's just you wanna do 10 releves while you're waiting for something to cook, whether that's you're just thinking about ballet for a second, whatever it is, just start something. So let's hear what our teachers have to say about how to stay motivated. Um, I find motivation to practice at home by, by doing two things. First, I really create an intentional routine for the week. Um, I have a really dynamic schedule, as most of you probably do as well. So um, just being intentional about putting that in the schedule where it fits for that given time. And the second thing I do is, is I play with music. So ballet can be done with any kind of music. It doesn't have to be solo piano. Uh, so lately, you know, I'll just put on an album and and dance. I'll do do a class. So it um, lately I've done, you know, Radiohead's OK Computer, Marabou State's Kingdoms in Color, Daft Punk's um, I I've used the Beatles. Playing with music is just a fun challenge to adapt the combination to new styles in real time. And I hope that some of these tips can help you get excited about practicing at home. And I think something that is really um, helpful for me and maybe helpful for you is to remember that I'm doing this for myself and that I'm really taking care of myself when I dance and it doesn't matter, you know, how I'm feeling before class, I know I'm gonna feel better while I'm dancing and afterwards. So I definitely encourage you guys to keep moving at home, whether if it's just a small sh short stretch or um, a short bar or, you know, a full class, whatever it is, uh, just continue to keep moving. I guarantee you guys that Physically and mentally, you guys will definitely feel better. So. Finding motivation to practice at home can definitely be challenging. Um, something I would recommend as a way to try to help motivate yourself is to think about um, how much fun you have when you're at the studio and when you are dancing. And to use being at home as a way to be 
able to just be you and be in the privacy of your home and not have to worry about comparing yourself to anyone um, and be able to just focus on you and thinking about some of the self-corrections that maybe some of the instructors have given you so you can think about those corrections as you're practicing at home and applying those which can be super super helpful um, thank you all so much for listening and look forward to seeing everyone both online and at the studio